Hello everybody, and welcome back to a Blender 2.78 tutorial. Now, since summer is fast approaching, I thought that we would make, guess, 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 a snowman. Because everybody loves snowmen in the middle of summer. So, without further ado, let's begin. So let's begin by getting rid of this cube. And we are now going to start our snowman. And if you like snowmen, Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, and also hit that like button. Okay, so, first we're going to make a UV sphere. Now we're going to make three of these, and each one is going to be smaller than the one below it. So here's our big one. Let's say S2 to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And let's hit the smooth option, because we want this to be smooth. So now, we are going to hit control D or sorry shift D to duplicate it now we are going to hit Z to move it along the Z axis and we can set it right there and we are going to say s.5 nope not 0.5 let's say let's say 0.7 there we go s.7 so there is our second ball and the third snowball we will hit shift D again, Z, let's say about there, S.7, let's see what that looks like. Okay, I like 0.7. Okay, so now we have the basic snowballs for our snowman, for our snowman. So now, now that we have created the snowballs, let's just change the material a bit. So we're going to go to material, hit new and we're going to make this all white and it seems like it is already all white so let's change this to snow it seems like it's not completely white let's change the intensity to one and the white scale all the way up and the specular there we go the specular is all white as well so right click on the one below and hit snow and then right click on this one and hit snow there we go so we have our snowy snowballs and if we go into rendered view you can see that they are white when they are lit up oh, not material solid okay so now we have to make the components of our snowman so let's hit five to go into orthographic view and we are going to create the eyes first and the eyes are going to be the coals and we can repeat that along the mouth and also his buttons so we're going to hit shift a to create a mesh and we are going to create another UV sphere wherever that is there we go and let's make it a bit smaller by doing let's say s.1 now let's do s.2 nope 0.1 I like it. Okay, S.1, we'll hit smooth again on it. And now, let's add a new material while we're at it. And we will call this coal. Make it all the way black. Make the specular intensity, let's say gray. And now we are going to move the eyeball onto our snowman. Hit three. Whoops, what is going on? Okay, we did it on the other side. That's okay. Put it on this side. Okay. So there's one eye. And now, let's duplicate this as soon as we have it good. Let's get out of orthographic view. Let's position this so that the entire eye is showing. There we go. Okay. Now, actually, let's lower it a little bit. Just trying to get that perfect image okay let's duplicate it and let's see is it the Y nope it's the X alright okay that looks about good so now we're going to duplicate it again and we're going to construct the mouth and let's make these a little bit smaller so let's do S let's say 0.7 maybe there we go so let's begin and so we can get out of the 
orthographic view for this. Yeah, we'll start it up here. Okay. So we'll hit Shift D. And we are just going to keep making the coals go down his face. Say one up here as well. Shift D. Here we go. It's not perfect, but hey, what snowman is perfect? Shift D along the X. And now, to save us time, let's select all of our coals and let's do Shift D. So now we have the other side. And we are going to do Rotate Z 180. Uh, not that. Hang on. Okay, so it seems like we're going. Okay, no, actually, let's do Rotate X 180 now. Hmm. Rotate Z 180? Huh. There we go. Okay. So, hmm. Okay. So it seems like we're going to have to position these once we get in there. But there that is. So now we will move this one in. This one in. We can move this one in too. And this one in. There we go. <laughs> This snowman has a very wide smile. Okay, so now we're going to make the nose. So we will hit Shift A. And let's go for a cone. There we go. And we'll make this smooth as well. And we will say Z, nope, R, Z, R, X, 90 to make it rotate that way. And I apologize, I forgot to turn on the screencast keys, so now you will see everything I do. Sorry about that. So now we will hit S. Let's try point 2. And we will position it onto Snowman's face. And let's hit hmm, S, Y, because we want to scale it a little bit longer. There we go. Okay, there's his nose, so we're going to give him a carrot material. Let's make this as orange as we could possibly make it. There we go. We'll make the specular, let's say yellow. Alright, there's his nose. So now, we have to make the hat. So let's go, let's hit 7, and then 5 to go into orthographic view. We will hit Shift A. And let's make ourselves a cylinder. And this is, well, actually, let's not hit seven. And this is going to be the rim of his hat. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be what his hat looks like. So we're going to hit SZ and make it really small. Not really small, but we will give him a rim like that. And we could put it there. And let's hit Control D to make another one. And for now, we'll put it up here. Let's hit SZ to scale it up a bit more. And let's just hit S to scale it down a little bit. There we go. There's his hat. Let's make this... Well, actually, let's undo this because we want to add more faces to it. Let's do Shift-A, and we're going to make another cylinder. And here on vertices, let's make it 50 because we don't want to be seeing the sides of the cylinder as easily. So let's scale it down a bit. A little bit more. S, Z. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to right click both of them, add a new material, and wait, actually we can give them the coal material because the hat will pretty much be the same color. There we go. There's his hat. So now all we have to do 
is make his arms. Well, we have to make the buttons too, but we have to make the arms as well. So let's make another cylinder. Scale it down a bit. S, Z, make it a bit longer. R, Y, we'll say like that. And we will stick it into his body like that. There we go. And let's give him some fingers. Two fingers, probably. So let's duplicate this and hit Z for now. So R, Y to rotate it a little bit. And let's just, hmm, let's do S, Z to scale it down a bit. So basically, we're trying to give him fingers. So R, Y, like that. Let's hit S a little bit to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, let's duplicate this again. R, Y, let's say like that, and let's do R, Y again. All right, there we go. So there is, let's make this a little bit more perfect. There we go. Let's make this a little bit longer, S, Z, hmm, okay, like that. There we go. So there's one of his arms. Let's give this arm a material. So let's hit new and let's make it a bit of a brown material. If I can get it that way. There we go. And we'll call this wood and the specular. Let's just bring that down to zero. Let's give this the wood material and this the wood material. Okay, so now Let's select all three of them and then hit Control J to join them. So now what we can do is we can duplicate the entire arm and put it on the other side. But first, if we want to set the rotation correct, we have to do Control Alt Shift C, which basically allows us to bring the origin to the center of mass, which allows us to rotate it more cleanly now. So let's duplicate this, Shift D. And we are going to hit, let's see, Rx, I'm guessing. Hmm. Let's see what Rx does. Nope, not Rx. Let's do, let's try Ry. There we go. Okay, so we'll do Shift D again. Nope. Yeah, Shift D, and let's bring it over here. And we are going to do Ry to bring it, to bring the rotation back to this side. And there we go. He now has two arms. As soon as I could get it in there. There we go. So now all we have to do is give him three buttons on his chest and we'll be all good. So let's just duplicate this. Let's do Alt G to bring it back to center so that it's completely in the center of his body. Let's make these ones a little bigger. There we go and we're just going to give them three. Shift D, Z, bring it there. Shift D, Z, and we will bring, whoops, not that way. We will bring it in here. There we go. So there is our snowman. So to join this entire snowman into one object, we're going to do a box select on everything on the snowman and we are going to do control J and then we're going to do control alt shift C to bring the origin to the center of mass there you have it a 3d modeled snowman in blender so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in the next tutorial goodbye